hi friends this was this kinter window this is a we can add the products to this our uh, tree view and then create an invoice out of it but this already we have discussed in our previous tutorial how this code works everything we have discussed but one thing was this combo box we have manually fed it means we had picked up the products from the list only and now this time you can see the same list you are seeing but all these products are taken from the database the moment i select it you can see the price column here the price is picked up from the database and shown here so whatever i just have to enter the quantities uh, how much i want to add and i can add it here now similarly one more product say pen drive i uh, selecting now three and already the price is picked up so this way the back end it picks up the, it works from the taking data from the product table now that may there are several advantages we can fit the business logic means we want to maintain some minimum stocks or something is not available we can disable at this label so every product is taken and every product id this column is newly added every product id is also seen and while storing it when you confirm this uh, bill well we'll get the three products we are adding and that time we'll get the product id also you just see here product is three and to that product uh, whatever details we will store we'll store with the total the bill number along with the, all the products and product id let's move to the database and see here is our plus two product table this sql dump is available let's just open it and see here you, some sample data are there same and you have we have three columns now product id product name and the price so whenever we select a, and this particular product name is what the we get it as choice or we get it as a options in our combo box and the once we select it the price part is also picked up now this entire sql dump is available you can download it also let's move to the script this time we have kept two files or our main file tk invoice and another one tk invoice products in this file we are connecting to database again using the same our user id password and uh, connecting to mysql database and here is the query select star from plus two products what happens this picks up all the products here we can introduce the condition say where product is more than 10 or something whatever conditions we can the business logic can be incorporated here where stock is minimum stock say five we can have a quantity column and minimum stock is five we can say now this query when you execute we create two variables here one is a dictionary and another is a list dictionary contains the entire row of data with the product id as the key and the list contains only the product names so you just see my dict here and my list this loop we are looping through and adding to our uh, to this creating to the dictionary and the list now let's come back and see how this particular two variables we are integrating in our main file this is our invoice 3 main file here you see this line this line from tk invoice product import my dict and my list so what happens when you run this file instead of uh, manually getting we both this dictionary and this list both are available you may ask also from the dictionary we can get the list also why you are creating two separate the reason here is that is yes that is possible because we are looping through once using one loop both you are creating separately no need to use another loop to create a separate list out of the dictionary so here it is so both the dictionary and the list are available now we will how we are using this we will see there is a one function extra is added here so you can see and in the tree view we have added one more column here intentionally and one more extended because we are adding the product id pid here you see the product id one more column we are adding so that that is the reason and here you can see here um, we have gone here okay this is the function what you have extra function what is being added now my price what happens is uh, our combo box is connected to a string uh, string variable product so once that at the bottom you can see at the end this line is added now the trace method of this string variable means whenever we select a product or anything we do this triggers my price function so that my price function is here at the top this is the one what is being added now what happens in the my price what you are doing is first we are configuring the text as uh, blank only no if it is previously any uh, text is there then you clear the label then product id what is the product id for that we are just uh, uh, what is the product id means global we have taken what is the at the 
beginning whatever you have declared it here product id and we are setting it to zero because so far we have not read it say the user has selected a product out of the available choice in that case the value will be zero then what you are doing is we are looping through all the key uh, the dictionary whatever you have imported i is the key j is the value so uh, key is the i so here what happened j1 j1 is the name of the product if it is matching with the what the selected product get value of the string variable then pick up the corresponding price and pick up the product id so these two are picked up so if the product name matches with the our dictionary or whatever the user has selected say i am selecting mouse in that case j1 is mouse and product get is mouse so then what is the price of mouse will be picked up and it will be set at the prc because if you watch in our previous tutorial where your invoice was generated there the price uh, uh, was prc that was a double variable in fact and product id these two now what happened these two are once it is available when i am updating it now this all this here you can see the value 5 now because it is moved right so instead of 4 it is 5 now so that is getting updated and subtotal is calculated and while insorting the data also you can see here insert into plus 2 invoice detail invoice id what is the invoice id is picked up we have already discussed that product id product quantity and price and here you can see we are starting from my list 1 because we are not storing no more the serial number we are storing the product id my list 1 is the product id so my list 1 is the product id uh, that invoice id is already taken here then product is here then quantity then the price that my list for is the price this is the taken from the table inserted to the tree view now we are calculating the in using the insert data the entire source code is available for you to download if you are better you you use the pa first part without a going for product table and if that works then use this and don't forget to replace your user id password wherever this connect create engine is there this line and another this image also you will get an error because this image we have used it because it is in our path is available so this image may not be available in your change the image or remove the image altogether then you may have to slightly adjust the layout and note that this is the key here we are bringing all our and you are creating modular so suppose here all this the file this is a small file you can create the dictionary and list say you want some business logic say minimum stock 10 thing everything you can execute you can integrate it in this and finally generate the dictionary and the list matching to your business logic so that way it can be done that's all friends i will run it once so we can see this here again i'm using cpu automatically to see the price i need not enter quantity i have to because i don't know how many quantities are there so i rest of the things same what you had discussed before let me give it i am not giving the price here so automatically it picks up from the database whatever data we have fixed so accordingly it's once i confirm it everything is stored there bill number six product is three products are stored that's all explore this script and again request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching